Amenity packages can make or break your real estate investment. So we're covering why the top commercial real estate investors focus on their amenities. The exponential growth of online ordering has caused a massive shift in the way that we experience retail today. Retailers that refuse to adapt to the new age have unfortunately, fallen by the wayside. Commercial real estate investors and developers are also too aware of how these changes will impact their bottom line, and they're making moves to keep up. Amenities are one way that a project can stand apart in a sea of commercial real estate options. They catch a tenant's eye, bring benefit to their employees and customers, and help curate a memorable experience, which is crucial in today's marketplace. The work environment is becoming an experience too. Just as retail has shifted to accommodate a new consumer, other types of commercial real estate will need to adapt to suit their new tenant bases. Times have changed, and so has the modern work environment. Alongside multifamily, office and industrial buildings are increasing their amenity packages in order to curate an experience and a lifestyle for the businesses that they aim to attract. The data is there to show that commercial real estate investors benefit heavily from these offerings as well. According to a survey by NAOP, 91% of building owners agreed that thoughtful amenity packages increase the velocity of tenant attraction, so they lease up faster, and assist with higher tenant retention, meaning your tenants stay there longer. After all, a company's work environment can become its identity, both to the employees and to the customers, which means that landlords who help create that identity should experience less turnover and vacancy losses. And amenities offer many benefits to tenants. Sure, amenities may look cool, but at the end of the day, they should also offer tangible benefits for tenants as well. If you're looking to craft your amenity pitch to prospective occupants, you'll need to focus on these benefits and not just the features. Here's what these amenities can offer to the businesses. Number one, a varied work environment. Changing where and how you work can help you break through those mental blocks whenever you're working on a project. Having the ability to work in different environments at varying locations and more can help re-spark that creativity. Number two, employment attraction and retention. Touching back on that culture and lifestyle that modern companies are looking to give their employees, strong amenity packages can help businesses attract and retain higher quality talent. Number three, idea sharing and collaboration. When you're in an environment where you enjoy working in common areas, you'll encounter individuals in other industries with varying backgrounds, and you never know where those conversations could lead to. Number four, a higher brand image. Higher quality properties and amenities can bring a better brand image to businesses located within that property. Consider all of the tech startups in Silicon Valley and the often outlandish amenity packages that they offer. So what amenities should you offer? Well, that's a great question. There are many different types of amenities that you could offer as a real estate investor. Some have been around for decades, while others have more recently caught on in popularity. And these amenities should be influenced by the type of tenants that you're looking to attract. A project located within an urban neighborhood where the community enjoys walking and biking to work will need very different amenity offerings than your more suburban work environment. Here are the most common amenities offered today. Traditional amenity packages. Traditional amenities may seem a bit old school, but there's a reason they've been around for so long. Tenants and their employees utilize and appreciate them. The most common traditional commercial amenities include childcare and daycare services. So not only does this amenity ease the calendar management stress of the professional parent, employers often find increased productivity among their workers since parents don't have to take days off or leave early to care for their children. Bike storage. More popular in urban areas, bike racks and storage give peace of mind to workers that live nearby and would prefer to not lug their bicycles up an elevator to store them in their offices. Lobby reception. Receptionists in the lobby can assist with incoming visitors and any questions, as well as provide a layer of security for the tenants. Fitness facilities. Want to stand apart from the rest of the crowd? Offer a professional grade fitness facility for tenants that wish to exercise before and after work. And don't forget the locker rooms with showers too. Covered parking. Covered and garage parking has long been seen as quite the amenity in urban developments, especially if it has open access, which means everybody visiting may not have to pay to park. Businesses want to be sure that their visiting clients can easily find them and park without frustration. Building signage. Signage is a big deal for some companies, no matter how large or small they may be. Tenants that occupy anchor space, which means that they have the largest footprint in the property, will often expect to have the most prominent signage or naming rights to the building. Now for the more modern amenity packages. Modern amenity packages typically offer some type of unique 
experience for the tenants that helps add to their company culture. Here are some of our favorite modern commercial amenities. Rock climbing walls. A development in Chattanooga took the front facade of their parking garage and converted it into a rock climbing wall accessible to the public. Not only does this help hide the parking garage, but it draws customers into the surrounding retailers. Indoor and outdoor games. Apartment complexes have been adding in bocce ball and volleyball courts for quite some time now, and mixed use developments are beginning to catch on. Who wouldn't want to have a client meeting over a game of pool or ping pong? Rideshare optimization. Designate a few parking spaces or a whole lane towards the entrance of your facility for rideshare pickup and drop off only. The more transit friendly your property is, the less burden you'll have on your parking facilities, which could then be repurposed for higher and better uses. Yoga and meditation rooms. Work can be stressful, and many entrepreneurs and startups work long, hard hours. Providing a quiet room with mirrors and dimmable lights for a yoga or meditation studio where your tenants can go relax is becoming one of the most popular new amenities. Dog parks, runs, and washes. Let's face it, Millennials love their pets and will bring them to work if they're able. Commercial projects that not only allow pets, but provide locations for the tenants to exercise, play with, and care for their pets will have a cutting edge on their competition. Common area Wi-Fi. More and more, tenants are appreciative of having their Wi-Fi included in their common area expenses. Including Wi-Fi helps lower that barrier of entry for a new tenant and gives them one less aspect of running their business to worry about. Some tenants, of course, will still need their own dedicated lines, but common Wi-Fi will serve the overwhelming majority of tenants. Common conference rooms. Not every tenant needs enough space for a conference room 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but they will need meeting spaces occasionally. Conference rooms that are shared by multiple tenants that can be booked online will help tenants decrease their overall footprint and maximize the efficiency of their space. Programming is also on the rise, so you've designed the perfect site loaded with amenities. Now it's time to program your facility. Programming is all of the events and activities organized and executed by the landlord or the property management company in order to further engage your tenant base. After all, just like in multifamily, the more a business and its employees feel at home where they work, the less likely they will be to relocate their operations when their lease expires and will instead choose to renew with you. Here are some popular programs. Fitness classes. You already have an on-site weight room, yoga studio, rooftop deck, and a courtyard, so why not take advantage of that by offering group fitness classes? You could choose to operate these in-house or simply hire a third party to oversee the implementation. Happy hours. Business owners and employees enjoy socializing with their counterparts in other industries industries, especially since these people will likely have a fair amount in common since they both decided to locate in your building with the culture that you've built. Invite a local brewery, vineyard, or distillery for a happy hour tasting to add even more local flair art exhibits. Common areas, courtyards, and hallways can be somewhat bland without art to liven them up. Find a local artist or gallery that could program your common spaces with seasonal or occasionally rotating sets of pieces. Food trucks and communal meals. Everyone needs to eat, and just about everyone enjoys good food and company. Pick a day of the week or month that you invite a food truck or local restaurant to cater a meal for your tenants in the common areas. So now that you have an idea for the different amenities that you should implement on site, where should you locate them? Sure, the lobby is the most common space. It's easily accessible, it's visible, it's highly trafficked. But don't feel like you can't get creative with it. Rooftop decks are all the rage in Nashville at the moment. Developers are able to monetize otherwise dead space. Do you have any underutilized or completely untapped space within your project? Think creatively as to how you could amenitize that space and don't feel like you need to get too crazy with it either. If you have a nice little nook, just add in a set of cabinets with a Keurig and offer a variety of coffee and tea for your tenants or install a beer tap featuring a local brewery. Sometimes the simple touches make the biggest difference. Other common locations for amenities will include outdoor space and courtyards, hallways and corridors, and don't forget about your basements. Now, amenity packages are great, but they do cost money, so are over-the-top amenity packages worth the expense? Well, of course they are, as long as you're able to quantify the return of the overall amenity package. The beautiful part about all of these amenities for a landlord is that the tenants will be paying for these as add-ons through their common area maintenance fees or on a case-by-case -case basis. So you don't want to go overboard in the expenses to where tenants can no longer justify the pricing, but there is a balance to be made there, especially since strong amenity packages help you attract tenants faster and retain them for longer periods of time. Whatever you do, you should definitely find your blue ocean. Find your fertile hunting grounds. 
how can you differentiate yourself from everything else that's currently on the market? If you can offer some unique amenity that no other site in the city offers, you'll set yourself apart from the pack and create demand for tenants. And don't be afraid to think outside the box either. Fortunately, most amenity implementations may be easily adapted into something else if necessary, so you can feel comfortable breaking the mold. So that's it for why the top commercial real estate investors focus on their amenity packages in order to lease space faster and retain tenants longer. Subscribe to the channel for more commercial real estate investing strategies, leasing and management tips, market updates and more, and I'll see you next time.